When working with MIDI here in Studio One, you may be used to, say, grabbing things and then trying to drag them around. I mean, that works, but there are some better ways and even faster ways and ways that you can keep everything with the proper sequence in the proper, you know, in proper timing without having to actually grab them. So let's look at a few ways that we can transpose or move our MIDI here in Studio One. All right. Let's say we need to move this an octave, right? So instead of grabbing it here and trying to drag things around, one super easy way to do this would be to right click directly on the clip. There's a transpose function in here. If I wanna go down an octave, I can go minus 12. Okay, there we go, play back. All right. Everything is now an octave lower or right click. Maybe I want it to be uh, plus 12, so just 12, that's up an octave. Now you'll notice that with this function, if I actually click into the actual MIDI, everything, let's just say based around C4 here. So if I right click here and I put this back to zero, you'll see nothing actually moves in the actual MIDI, okay? If I go to 23, right? Nothing actually moves here in the MIDI, okay? So this basically is just gonna change the way that your virtual instrument is going to interpret that MIDI, okay? So of course, instead of just moving octaves, we can also move in semitones. So if I wanna change the key, I can maybe go, uh, say minus two, to go down two semitones. So now we have a totally different key, right? All right, so that's option one there, but we have other ways. Say I actually want to move this MIDI. So what I can do is I can select just a selection here, or I can select everything. Now I can select everything by dragging a marquee or a selection over everything, but an easier way with something that's especially this large would be just to hold a control and A, right? And that's gonna select everything, command A on Mac, all right? Selects everything. And now instead of right clicking on that clip up here, just right click any of these MIDI notes, right click, come down to musical functions, and you're gonna see right here under pitch, you're gonna see transpose, select that. And we have two options. We have the add subtract and then the set all two. We'll get to the set all two here in just a minute. So add subtract, pretty simple, right? If I need this to go up an octave, I can just choose one octave and choose okay. So it moved everything up an octave, kept our same pattern, right? Okay, same stuff here, I can right click again. And now because we have already used that function, it's now in our recent items list. Great feature here in Studio One. And maybe I want it to go down an octave relative from what it is now. So down one octave, we'll essentially put it back to where it was originally. Of course, transpose, two octaves. You can also use this slider if you want, or if you know, um, if you wanna deal in semitones, you can do that too. So I want everything to go up, maybe uh, just two semitones or two notes, right? That moves everything up two notes, so now we have a different key. All right, that's a great way to, if you have MIDI that's a certain key, but you're using it with you know other songs that are in a different key, you can just adjust by semitones and all without having to drag it around and maybe, you know, maybe mess it up. But we also have that set all two function. Let me show you that. That works best with drum MIDI, all right? So here on this track, we have some drums. But the MIDI is mapped wrong. It's triggering our tom instead of triggering our kick. No problem. We can easily move that with transpose. I'll click right into the track here, find where it is. I know it's A1, so all these here need to be moved down to our kick, which is generally C1, right? So I can just select just those. Now I can, again, I can just select them by dragging a selection around them. Or another thing you can do, since it's that note there, I can hold down Control, Command on Mac, in my case Control, click, and that's gonna select everything in that lane. Pretty cool, right? So now, same stuff we did previously, just right click on a MIDI note, we're gonna go to Transpose, and this time we're gonna use Set All To. So if you know exactly what note you want something set to, this is probably the, the fastest way to get your MIDI there and make sure it's exactly there, okay? So we know this is gonna be C1, so we'll just type in C and one and click okay and bada bing, bada boom, everything moves to C1. And we actually have a proper drum track. Okay. Now you're probably thinking that that's a lot of ways to move MIDI, but <laughs> it gets even better, especially for those of you 
who like to use your computer keyboard. Now, I'm more of a mouse person. I, I just like using the mouse. But if you're more of a keyboard person, you're going to like this next one here. So I'll click in to this MIDI over here. All right. So let's just say I select one note here and I want to move it up or down instead of just, again, dragging it around and maybe getting it out of time or something. I can just press up on my keyboard, right? The up arrow. I can move that wherever I want it. Of course, it's going to work with a selection, right? Even an entire track. You can move everything like that. But what if, um, kind of like over here on this piano MIDI, what if I want to move everything up an octave or everything down an octave? Well, again, I can just go control A and I can hold down shift and then I'm going to press the down arrow and that's going to shift everything down one octave. Okay. So your shift key is a modifier key to move it an entire octave. Of course, everything stays uh, in time there make sure it's turned on. Right. Shift up. Make sure I have uh, everything selected. Shift up moves it all up, all of it up one octave. Pretty cool, right? But again, <laughs> this, there's even more here in Studio One. Let's come back to this track because it's just easier, uh, easier to see. So we know we can go up and down. We know we can go shift to go by octaves, but we can also just use our left and right arrows and that's gonna select different notes. I don't have to touch my mouse, right? Maybe this note, adjust it up and down, right? Maybe I wanna select multiple notes, no problem. Hold down shift and then do left or right. In this case, right, I can select multiple notes, never touching my mouse, up and down, you get the idea there, right? Uh, what if I don't have anything selected and I don't wanna use my mouse to actually have to click something, no problem. Hit my right arrow key, it's gonna automatically select the first note in my MIDI track here, or press the left key, it's gonna automatically select the last note in my uh, in my progression. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool, right? You have so many options here in Studio One, but we're not done yet, right? Maybe I want to, maybe I wanna move this over, right? Well, how do I move you know any of these notes over? In that case, I'm gonna hold down Alt, option on a Mac, Alt, and then I can go over, one step at a time, one grid movement at a time. This is based on your grid, by the way. So it's 1 16th right now. If I had it on a half, then I hold down Alt and I move that, right? It's gonna go half. Of course, you can do this with multiples. I'll just select multiples, hold down Alt, move that stuff over or release Alt and uh, I'll make sure I have it right there. Move it up and down, move it, <laughs> move it over. So much stuff that you can do. Let's say I have this note selected and I don't want to touch my mouse and I want to move it over a bar and move that back to 116. Okay, so it's on 116, hold down Alt, but I wanted to actually move it an entire bar without touching my mouse and moving this. Well, actually I think a few ways we could do this, but let's do this. Hold down Alt, we know that's gonna let us move, you know, one, uh, one cell at a time, but now we'll hold down Alt and Control and then click over and now it moves an entire bar. <laughs> Isn't that cool, man? There's so much stuff here in Studio One. Of course we can do that with, again, let me uh, move that back up an octave and then down one, I hit the wrong button there. Let's hold down shift and select multiples, hold down alt, move everything over, you know, one step at a time or alt and control, command on Mac, right? Over, everything moves over a bar, wow. <laughs> Right. So if you're a keyboard person, you're probably going to love all of those shortcuts here. Up and down, shift for an octave. Okay, and there's probably a hundred more different things that you could do. But that's probably enough for right now. But I will I will leave you with one last little tip that you can uh, that you can use here. So I'm going to be zoomed way in here. Maybe I don't want to use my mouse to actually have to scroll around here and try to find this tiny little bar down here to actually zoom around, right? I just wanna use my mouse, or I just wanna use my keyboard to select my notes and stuff like that. And I also wanna uh, use it to navigate. Well, in that case, I can just hold down Control, Command on a Mac, right? I can now press the up arrow, the down arrow, and I can directly scroll left and right to scroll left and right. Again, holding down Control on Windows, Command on Mac, and I can quickly and easily navigate my MIDI very easily here in uh, in Studio One. Again, I'm more of a mouse person myself. 
always select and just selecting that MIDI with just a uh, press of your arrow keys. Move it up and down. Move it over. Move it an octave. <laughs> okay. Control A. Again, select everything. Right click. Transpose function. Don't forget that one. And also right click directly on the MIDI clip here. Transpose directly in here. Either, you know, plus 64 to down to minus 64 and every semitone in between. Okay, folks, I think that's enough tips for how to move your MIDI uh, for one video. Try those out because they will definitely speed up your MIDI editing right here in Studio One. I got tracks to lay down and beats to refine. Virtual instruments waiting and vocals to double time. It's a country man's dream with a digital twist from the heart of Nashville. That cutting is less Studio One Cowboy Riding waves of sound Taking these far more tunes And turning them around with faders and plugins Ain't nothing can't be done Life's a little better with Persona Studio One